What's up and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be discussing how to build muscle in a scientific manner. But before we start the video, do me a quick favor. I want you guys to take your time, go to the mirror right now and look at yourself deep in your own eyes and ask yourself, why am I still so skinny? I'll wait for you. Welcome back. Did you get your answer? Of course not, but don't worry. I'll make it easy for you guys. I'm going to give you guys a free training program, one month free training program, and I'll tell you how to get it later in the video. And of course, I'm also going to explain it to you guys in this video so you guys have no worries at all. Let's get into the video. The first point we need to hit on is how muscle building actually works. Now, scientists have identified three ways muscle building works, and let's talk about them. The first is an increase in muscle cell numbers. The second is an increase in muscle cell diameter and the third is an increase in muscle cell fiber length now there's also the importance of knowing that this is all caused by micro tears when you lift weights now i know i said three ways to identify them right but there are two other ways the two other ways are you can both like and subscribe to this channel and trust me, you're gonna see the progress you want to see. Now, how do we cause those three crucial factors when it comes to building muscle? Well, the first point I really, really want to hit on is hypertrophy training. Now, what is hypertrophy training? Hypertrophy training is the development of muscles, or I should say the way you work out to develop your muscle. In order to properly do hypertrophy training, you should be lifting anywhere from one to five sets, anywhere from eight to 20 reps, and anywhere from 40 to 70 percent of your one rep max the key is not to go heavy the key is to go from light to moderate and do a lot of reps that's a big range but what we have to take into consideration is the fitness level of the individual now if you're just a beginner you're not going to have the same level of intensity as somebody who's been lifting for 10 to 20 years they have a lot more room to lift a lot harder a lot longer than you now what you guys will see in this program that i'll be providing you is it starts off very slow and that's for a specific reason. When you start any new program, whether it's for strength, size, jumping higher, you never want to start off fast. You want to start off slow and build your way up. Now that actually leads me to progressive overload because that's what that is. Building your way up slowly through a training program is progressive overload. So let's talk about what progressive overload is. Progressive overload is when you gradually increase the weight frequency or number of repetitions in your training program the best way to explain this is by giving you guys an example so let's take a random person who does not exist named john let's say john just started going to the gym and he's been lifting for about a month how does that month look like what should he have done to make sure he was actually including progressive overload in that month let's say for the first two weeks this is just an example he was benching 135 three sets of eight now, for the following two weeks in the rest of the month, he's going to do 145 for three sets of eight. So he increased the amount of weight he's lifting. He could also do the reverse where he actually increases the amount of sets and reps but keeps the same amount of weight. So he could be doing 135 for four sets of eight rather than three sets of eight. Now, the goal of progressive overload is not to go crazy and try to increase the intensity by too much. For example, I like to make sure I'm increasing the intensity for myself by five to 10%, whether that's either weight or the frequency that I'm doing the lifts ads or the sets and reps that I'm doing it at as well. When it comes to developing muscle, volume is king. What do I mean by that? Again, earlier on, we spoke about how muscle is built. Now, when you do volume, you cause a lot of micro tears in your muscle fibers. The more volume you do, the more micro tears you have in your muscle fibers. And so when your muscles rebuild themselves, they rebuild themselves bigger and stronger. Now, what people don't really understand about muscle growth is, it's just adaption, an adaption to a stimulus. Your muscles rebuild themselves bigger and stronger so that next time, if they have the same stimulus, it'll be easier for your muscles to handle. Everything I've spoken about thus far is important, but none of it matters if you're not getting the right amount of recovery. What does recovery mean? Recovery means getting the proper amount of sleep and also giving your muscles enough time and a chance to recover properly. Let's start about sleep you should be getting quality sleep every single night if you want to see optimal results what does that mean that means getting anywhere from seven to ten hours of sleep at night another thing you have to take into consideration when it comes to sleep is you have to make sure you're not ingesting alcohol or smoking weed before you sleep because it actually inhibits your REM sleep. Hitting different muscle groups several times a week is ideal for muscle growth, but you also have to make sure you're given enough days in between each session for the muscle groups to recover properly. So you don't want to be hitting chest on Monday, chest on Tuesday, chest on Wednesday. If you hit chest on Monday, 
take a two, three day break in between your next chest session. For example, you can hit it on Thursday or Friday. Another important aspect of recovery is diet. Now diet is very, very important. Oftentimes they say diet is what makes or breaks your physical goals. So if you're really working out hard, going to the gym and you're intense, you need to make sure you have a proper diet that's gonna fuel your body just right. To increase muscle mass, you need to be in a calorie surplus. I would recommend increasing your calorie intake, your daily calorie intake by up to two to 300 calories a day. This allows you to slowly and steadily gain weight without adding too much fat if you increase your calorie intake by 500 a day you're gonna see a large amount of fat when you gain the weight and when you go to cut that also means you have to do more work to cut that fat and unfortunately it also means you're gonna be losing a higher percentage of muscle mass when you're cutting that fat when people think about micronutrients when it comes to building muscle the only thing they really think about is protein of course protein is very very important however you also have to make sure you're getting the proper amount of fat and the carbs those are also very important before I end the video I want to talk about supplementation now there are a lot of supplements out there on the market that you're wasting both your time and your money on they don't make any difference personally for me I have a few select supplements that I I use and as a matter of fact I just recently wrote a blog article on this the best supplements you can get you can go on my website at fredic-education.com that's also where you can find the free training program all you have to do is put in your email for, on the pop-up and you're gonna receive the training program immediately or if you don't want to put in your email you just go on the free program page and just press click here and when you do the programs will automatically be downloaded to your computer so that's how you receive the program. Now that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have, please make sure you like and you subscribe. And you can make sure to contact me. All you have to do is go on my website and the contact me session. Or you can go on my Instagram and just send me a quick little DM and I'll respond to you if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one training. Another thing is make sure you like and you subscribe. Peace. Take it easy, y'all.